After conclusively doing research into the leading causes of death and the DOJ report, I've come to the unavoidable conclusion that the government plans to kill me first and foremost by either a heart condition, ischemic heart disease, stroke, or a lower respiratory tract infection. Since these are some of the leading causes in the death of death worldwide, they do not seem suspicious. And even for a middle-aged man, they feel that they can get away with it because of the millions of deaths that occur annually from these diseases. This is their plan. They can't get me to do a mass shooting and go to jail, you know, or they can't set the stage for the police to murder me. That is their plan. Psych meds is their next plan. I'm just going to shoot some numbers by you real fast. Psych meds kill half a million people a year. Okay, it's almost 2,000 people a day. Sub-Saharan Africans die of communicable diseases, infectious diseases. Six million a year. That's about almost 17,000 a year. So almost 19,000 people, excuse me, a day. Almost 19,000 people a day, a day, die from psych meds and communicable diseases. These are the same people doing this, the eugenicists behind Big Pharma, the, the, the neo-colonialist exploiters. Exploitation leads to destitution, which leads to millions of deaths annually. Direct causes, we're not talking about indirect, you know, we're talking about a direct result from exploiting people and keeping them from getting on their feet is millions of deaths every year. Now, let's look at these deaths. Now, these aren't all the deaths. These are just ones that stick out to me like a sore thumb, you know. Believe it or not, wars aren't that big of a cause of death. So liberals can cry, you know, compared to compare relatively. Liberals can cry about wars all they want, but the real issues are the issues they refuse to address. And I'm not saying Republicans are any better, but let's look at this. And I'll, I'll give you the ballistics later, the rest of the ballistics. Alcohol, 3.3 million deaths a year. Cigarettes, 6 million a year. Abortion, 43 million a year. That's um, 1.72 billion abortions worldwide in the last 40 years. 59 million abortions in the U.S. since 1973, Roe v. Wade. And you hear feminists talking about how it's such a great civil rights victory. You know, such a wonderful civil rights victory, right? When 59 million Americans were aborted since 1973, you know, feminists should be real proud of themselves. According to the World Health Organization, 3.4, uh, 3.3 million deaths with alcohol. 180,000 from sugary drinks worldwide, Washington Post. 25,000, I believe, in America every year. Okay, illegal drugs, 250,000 deaths a year. Pollution. Now, this one is, is a real kicker. I've been talking about this. Um, I say, look, I don't care if you believe in climate change or not. Pollution kills 3 million people a year. Live science. Three million. You're so proud of yourself with your technology, you know. You know, oh, we're so, you know, we're so great, and you know. Anyway, just, just, just fucking complete scum. Anyway, ninety-nine percent of all child deaths occur in low and middle-income countries alone. Ninety-nine percent. So it is safe to say that almost all of these are preventable deaths. And, and, and what is the math on it? 6.6 6 million children died before reaching their fifth birthday in 2012. CDC, I believe. 6.6 6 million, 99% in low and middle income countries alone. And what kills them? Malaria, ischemic heart disease, stroke, lower respiratory tract infection. And so the New World Order basically tells my parents, gang stalk your son and we might help you, you know, come up with your, you know, help you get your um, herbal plants out that cure uh, malaria. We might help you, you know, 
We don't really fucking care because we're a bunch of population control bitches, but we'll pretend like we're going to help you if you help us kill your fucking son, which is really our concern, not the millions of people dying every year. So let's do the math here. Hey, let's whip out the calculators. Let's get it down a year. Just the things that I've talked about. Alcohol, cigarettes, abortion, car accidents, illegal drugs, sugary drinks, psych meds, air pollution, malaria, birth, etc. Oh, let's not forget. Let's not forget that 200,000 people die needlessly every year from heart disease, ca uh, cancer, chronic respiratory disease, stroke, unintentional diseases, etc. Okay? Because if you look at the states with the lowest death rates, you know, and you compare them to the rest of the states, then 34% of premature deaths from heart disease can be avoided, 92,000 lives saved. 21% of premature cancer deaths can be avoided, 84,500 lives saved. 39% of premature deaths from chronic lower respiratory diseases prolonged in 29. Remember, I complain about heart, you know, and lower respiratory problems because the, from the gas, from the covert drugging. It's part of what they're doing. They're trying to piss me off and they're trying to fucking kill me. 33% of premature strokes, 17,000 lives will be saved. 39% of premature deaths. Now let's kick the 37,000 lives. Uh, from, from premature deaths from un, uh, unintentional injuries. 37,000 lives to be saved. CDC. Now let's kick the ballistics here. How many is it a year and how many is it a day? And I'll tell you right now, it's not pretty. I didn't include the statistic of the sub-Saharan Africans in the calculations, okay? Because I know some of you are bootlickers who don't fucking care. So I put the children's statistics instead. Okay, keep in mind the 6 million a year from sub-Saharan Africans uh, dying from infectious diseases, and we're not, and you know very small percent of them are AIDS. AIDS kills how many people a year? Um, oh, I didn't include that either. I forgot to read that one. Let me find. I wrote that down here somewhere. 1.5 million people die from AIDS every year. Okay, so that's in the entire world. So therefore, most of these deaths, uh, you know, are preventable deaths. You know, from from uh, um, you know. Poor living conditions, unsanitary living conditions, not having clean water and things of this nature, okay? That's the, the communicable disease that they're dying from, not from AIDS. A lot of people hear that, they're dying from infectious diseases, they all have AIDS. No, 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 no. Less than one-sixth of them are dying from STDs, less than that, because 1.5 million people die worldwide from AIDS. Now let's kick the ballistics, shall we, people? So why all you people think that they're not waging war on us? You know, if I cut off your water supply and you die and I, and I have a population, I just happen to believe in population control. Is that not a form of waging war on you? If I poison your water supplies and I just happen to have a population control agenda and use millions of people to start dying, is that not a form of waging war? You know, when you do something that causes people to die and you believe in it, you know, you believe in making a killing in business, you believe in population control, you feel powerful from killing innocent people, that is is waging war. Now let me tell you the cost, the human cost of this war that's being waged on us by certain groups of people that I have thoroughly explored in my other videos and the spiritual bottom feeding philosophies that have allowed this to take place. The number one being conformity. Conformity is disgusting. But let me let, let me, you know, without further ado, 64,889,500 people die a year from preventable deaths with just the things that I have listed alone. 177,780 people die a day from just the things I've listed alone. 7,407 people die every hour. Preventable. These are all preventable deaths. On record. On fucking record. An hour. Okay? 124 people die every minute. Preventable deaths. Two people die. Two preventable deaths every single second. Two more. Two more, two more, two more, two more. Really over two, a little bit over two. So now, you know, the people say, well, you know, people die. You know, you'll, see, you'll hear bitch ass excuses. People try to justify it. To say, Look, motherfucker, these people don't have to die. 
We can control the population by spreading philosophies that promote reasonably sized families without abortion. You know, we can promote different ways of interacting with each other, being romantic with each other without having, you know, unprotected sex all the time, for instance. There are different ways to control the population that are more humane and practical. These people do it this way because they are satanic. They get a kick out of killing people. I've been researching these secret societies since I was like 11 years fucking old. I'm telling you, they get a kick out of killing people. They don't just happen to be killing people all these horrible fucking ways that are very miserable deaths. You think it's fun to die of AIDS or alcohol abuse? You think it's fun to die from malaria or car accidents? Illegal drugs, sugary drinks, psych meds, air pollution, malaria, you know, uh, birth trauma, pneumonia, birth asphyxiation, diarrhea. You think these are fun ways to die? Heart disease? These people get a kick out of you suffering and dying. You know, as much as I hate to compare it to a movie right now, but it kind of reminds me of the fucking Palpatine, Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars. You know, enjoying the suffering and death. Just complete evil scum. These are the type of evil scum that it's hard to compare them to people in real life. These are serial killers who enjoy people suffering. They kill people this way because they enjoy the suffering. They control the media. They control Hollywood. If they wanted to stop this anytime they want, they control every institution necessary to spread healthy philosophies that promote family values and proper, not eugenic, but proper family planning. They choose not to because they are fucking serial killers. Mark my word, you people are going to feel real stupid one day when it comes out that I'm right. These are fucking serial killers. So maybe you can guzzle beer and eat popcorn and, you know, turn a blind eye to 65 million preventable deaths a year. Really, it's more than that. These are just the things that I've listed. Maybe you can. I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to sit around and let a bunch of satanic filth kill 65 million fucking people. Deaths that could have been avoided. If somebody hadn't subscribed to satanic philosophies, what would you do if you were fucking Heru and the minions of Satan we're killing 65 million people a year while a bunch of sissies are talking about nonviolence, nonviolence. 65 million fucking people a year screams for violence. It doesn't just politely ask you to be violent. It doesn't say, we need to do something to stop these people. Perhaps we should stop. It says, kill them all. As a man of principle who couldn't take it anymore, a man who saw the whole world as his family, and so, never again would revolution in America be fought the same way. For Horace was about to begin something profoundly violent that would be unparalleled in American history. Never again would battles in this region of the continent be the same. For Shaka was about to begin what was to become known as the Umfa Clan, a reign of terror that would be unparalleled in Africa's turbulent history. <laughs> Remember Mfunda. You know how she died? Starvation and exhaustion. A slow, painful way to die. Especially for an old woman. Her death could have been avoided if someone hadn't been our grave, forcing her to become an outcast. <laughs> What would you do if she had been your grandmother? Some people would not approve of his extreme violence, but in his heart he knew he was right.
Disapprove of me, Makedama? No, Shaka. I disapprove of the great Sakiti, the man who fights like a million. You were kind to my mother and me, and I won't forget that. I'll not kill you or your people. I'm glad to see that you have grown in the ways of justice, Shaka. I wonder how many see you for what you really are, a killer. A killer who's contaminated his armies with his own cold-blooded thirst for revenge. Building the Mteta Confederacy is a pretense. The wars you wage are, in fact, very private and concern only a chosen few. Each of your battles is a trial in which the enemy is condemned to death for having caused your family hardship. Each village you burn to the ground is the home you were denied. Each man whose lungs you burst open is the rest In his two young cousins, he saw similarities between them and the starving Biafrans and the pictures he grew up seeing. Some people could not understand that he was right. All they could see was his anger. Is responsible for Nandi's suffering. Stop pity, Shaka. Your thirst for revenge has already been quenched a million times over. Sikidi. Heart disease, stroke, or a lower respiratory tract infection. Since these are some of the leading causes in the death of death worldwide, they do not seem suspicious. And even for a middle-aged man, they feel that they can get away with it because of the millions of deaths that occur annually from these diseases. This is their plan. They can't get me to do a mass shooting and go to jail, you know, or they can't set the stage for the police to murder me. That is their plan. Psych meds is their next plan. I'm just going to shoot some numbers by you real fast. Psych meds kill half a million people a year. After conclusively doing research into the leading causes of death and the DOJ report, I have come to the unavoidable conclusion that the government plans to kill me first and foremost by either a heart condition, ischemic heart, okay, it's almost 2,000 people a day. Sub-Saharan Africans die of communicable diseases, infectious diseases, six million a year. That's about almost 17,000 a year, so almost 19,000 people, excuse me, a day, almost 19,000 people a day, a day die from psych meds and communicable diseases. These are the same people doing this, the eugenicists behind Big Pharma, the, the, the neo-colonialist exploiters. Exploitation leads to destitution, which leads to millions of deaths annually. Direct causes, we're not talking about indirect, you know, we're talking about a direct result from exploiting people and keeping them from getting on their feet is